We are finally in the last segment of lecture six, where we're gonna size the SSTR, meaning we're gonna find its volume. Of course, what we did in segment one, we derived the design equation written in terms of x. Okay, and in the segment two, we learned how the kinetics are obtained, and we also had some insight into the design equation. Now we're gonna use this design equation to design a CSTR, meaning to find its volume. Okay. Type example two two sizing a CSTR. Of course, there's another example before this, which is example two one, which I leave you to do it at home. Okay, example two two sizing a CSTR. The previously discussed isothermal gas phase isomerization reaction, A goes to B, is to be carried out in a CSTR. Species A enters the reactor at if A0 equals 0.4 mol per second with pure A, Y A0 equals to 1, C A0 equals to 0.2 mol per liter, and epsilon naught that equals 2 liter per second. So we have all the specifications of the feed. Okay. Use the obtained kinetic data to calculate the volume necessary to achieve 80% conversion in a CSTR. So for this reaction, we have obtained the kinetic data. Okay, at, the, at a given temperature, pressure. Okay, and we're going to use this kinetic data to design a CSTR, an industrial CSTR that's going to be operated at the same temperature and pressure because that this kinetic data obtained is only valid at that certain condition. Okay, so we're going to use this kinetic data to find the, to calculate the required volume to achieve the desired conversion. Okay, so let's go to the design equation if we want to design the CSTR. So this is the design equation. The design equation says V equals if A naught times X divided by minus RA, which is evaluated at the exit. So for a conversion of, for a conversion of 0.8, right, the value of if A naught over minus ra the value of fa naught minus ra equals what does it equal equals eight right therefore the volume would simply be eight which has the units of cubic meter right see has the unit of cubic meter okay multiply by multiply by the conversion which is 0 0.8 and the answer would be 8 times 0 0.8 that's 6.4 and the unit is cubic meter because the unit of this number is cubic meter this is dimensionless so we have the volume is 6.4 cubic meter excellent Shabab. excellent okay now let's shade the area that would give the CSTR volume necessary to achieve 80% conversion. So we're asking, in this Levinish bead plot, can you shade the area? Can you show us the area that represents the volume of the reactor? Can we do this? Well, in order to do this, first we need to look at the equation, right? We need to look at the equation. What does the equation say? The equation saying that volume the volume equals if a naught over minus r a evaluated at the exit right evaluated at this x correct times this x okay so let's see this is if a naught over minus r a okay and this is x so basically we are multiplying x okay this is x 
تمام what is x well for the CCR the x extends from 0 all the way to all the way to oops sorry let me uh, correct this again okay okay so yep so the conversion extends from 0 all the way to 0.8 right that's the conversion okay what about the value of if a naught over minus r a is it zero well we said this is evaluated at the exit right so it's evaluated at point 8 when x is 0.8 because x of 0.8 represents the concentration at the exit and the concentration at the exit equals the concentration inside the reactor so what's the value of if a naught over minus r a when x is 0.8 well we can read it from the figure right at 0.8 at x of 0.8 the value is this right that's the value of if a naught over minus r a so the value of the value of x is 0.8 what is 0.8 this is this is the distance of 0.8 what's the value of if a naught over minus r a well we said it is 8 what is the distance of 8 this is the distance of 8 if we multiply if we multiply this which is the width by this which is the height the width times the height what would it give you it would give you the area of a rectangle right it will give you the area of a rectangle this is our rectangle and this is the area of the rectangle which is calculated by multiplying the width times the height so in fact this area this shaded area represents the volume of a CSTR okay okay so the CSTR volume necessary to achieve 80% conversion is 6.4 cubic meter and this is represented by this reactor if we take a, a tank which is 1.5 meter in diameter and the height of around 3.6 meter so the diameter is about the height of you or a little bit smaller than your height and the height of the tank is around the height of the ceiling it may be a little bit sh shorter and this is the volume of the tank of the CSTR that is required to achieve 80% conversion okay with this shabab we reach the end of lecture 6 where we achieved or learned how to size a CSTR we'll meet soon in lecture 7